Um, so we talked a little bit about this program. What we didn't talk about is this uh, unattend XML here. Okay. Uh, so unattend XML. Um, this is the file that controls the sysprep. All right. And it has all the. It's a. It's fairly difficult to read if you've never seen one before. But I'm just going to take a look and just kind of walk you through it, and then I'll put this unattend sample up to, uh, for you to take a look at. So basically, it has to be in the same folder that you run sysprep uh, exe out of. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Okay, so it's an XML file, um, and let's just walk down through here. I'm just going to call out some things that uh, that I think about when I'm doing a. Uh, a file, this is by no means an exhaustive approach, but the file will give you a good place to start. Okay, so, so first of all, everywhere in the sample, I, I went and put an XXX five X's where you're going to need to fill in your own information. Okay, one of those is under user data here. Okay, so under user data, you have to need, you need a, a you know, an uh, administrator, right? Uh, let's go back down through here. So just kind of leave everything else as is in this file. Okay. Uh, this, this I've developed over many, many iterations of, uh, of cloning uh, computers, you know, in a computer lab. You want the skip rearm here in both places. Notice that there's a couple duplicates, right? So x86 and md64 is the difference on these two, these two um, uh, things here. If we go down here, skip auto activation. Okay, so basically what this does is, is this, this um, unattend XML file skips everything okay so basically it boots right onto a desktop you don't have to add the date you don't have to do anything to it so once the windows is cloned essentially it uses this unattend xml and just you know just automatically uh, boots you into a desktop with an admin user so so you do need to put in your own product key obviously to make it um, perfectly legal um, uh, okay, so Windows computer name, notice there's two um, things here for Windows computer, both are star, that's so it automatically just gives a, um, uh, a random computer name to the computer. You can put a prefix on there. Uh, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do in this file, but I'm just gonna call it out, so um, call out a few things. Um, okay, this hide ELA, you know, uh, hide wireless setup, skip machine, out-of-box experience, skip user, out-of-box experience. This stuff all skips things that you don't want to have to do when you're when you're cloning a computer and just makes it go straight to the desktop. So, okay, um, there's a few other things here. So, uh, so there's some stuff you could probably remove out of here, but I just won't go into it. Um, password, That's this is where you set the password for your admin user. Okay, you need to have all these extra stuff though. So notice that we're adding a local account here and you're doing an auto login. Okay, so these things have to match. Okay, so don't change this too much. Just change the stuff where the X's are for, your, for the time being. And then once you have it working, then you can change things. So uh, notice that we add the local account and then we do an auto login. So this is set to automatically log in a Windows user on, on clone. Okay, notice that we have some duplicate stuff down here. Just keep it duplicated. Um, so <laughs> that's my advice to you until you really understand what you're doing. Uh, okay, so basically we go down through here. Once again, there's their X's again that matches the... Um, those, are their, those are our X's again that match our, uh, our login for our admin user that matches the password, right? Okay, and then finally um, we have this with this fine, final thing here. So. So anyway, so you just go go down here through here and take a look. Um, this is a good place to start for your unattend XML. Um, uh, once again, uh, some of the stuff, like for example, this skip rearm is really important because the fact that it will uh, you know will use up one of your rearms if you don't do that. It'll eventually use them all up anyways, but um, but that's a good thing to have. So so anyway, so this uh, this sample this unattend XML is basically made so you don't have to do anything when you clone your computer. So. So best of luck with it. Um, and then put it inside the folder with your sysprep.exe. Uh, and good luck.